Human anatomy is by far one of the hardest classes I have ever taken. I still remember how difficult it was for me to learn anatomical direction at times when I resumed to Andrew Levy Medical School. Understanding the meaning of terminology such as media and lateral, superior and inferior, anterior and posterior, unilateral and bilateral, posima and distal, and how to differentiate one from the other was not easy for me. Hello there, this is Medicine TV, home to medical school excellence. Like it or not, anatomy remains a fundamental component to your medical training. It is the science that studies the structure of the human body. Anatomy as a discipline is usually taught as three courses in most medical schools. That is, gross anatomy, embryology, and histology. Collectively, these three branches of the discipline are referred to as anatomy. In today's video, I will be telling you about how I studied and learned anatomy in medical school with special emphasis on gross anatomy. Please sit back, relax, and listen. The first thing you must do if you wish to learn human anatomy is to choose the right study material. You have to choose the right textbooks and study aids that works best for you. How do you know which textbooks or study aids works best for you? Well, the first thing you are expected to do once you resume to Andrew Level Medical School is to meet with your senior colleagues and ask them to recommend textbooks they think is best for human anatomy. If you meet with two senior colleagues, there is a high probability that they would recommend two entirely different textbooks. Ask them for their reasons behind the recommendation. Ask them for the name of the textbooks that the lecturer that will most likely be taking the course uses or would recommend for them. Now, after they have finished recommending books for you, go to the library or online in search of the textbooks. Once you have found it, read through the first few pages of the book and find out which amongst the books they have recommended for you is right for you. You will know if a book is right for you if you find it easy to understand or if you can explain whatever you have studied in that textbook to your colleague or friend without so much difficulties. Moving on, the next step you must take if you wish to learn anatomy is to practice visual learning. What do I mean? Anatomy, unlike other courses, requires you to visualize whatever you are studying. Without visualizing whatever you are studying, there is a high chance that you will forget whatever you have studied within a very short time. This is why you must always be present during dissection classes. Also, this is why you will need an atlas in addition to whatever textbook you decide is best for you. Basically, an atlas is a book or digital application that contains 3D pictures of different body parts or regions to enable you to understand the anatomy of the human body better. There are different types of atlases or 3D anatomy applications out there to make understanding human anatomy easier. Moving on, the next thing you must do to learn anatomy more effectively is never to miss lectures or classes. The truth is, lectures didn't really help me much in learning anatomy but I tried as much as possible never to miss any class because attending classes always helped me to get the lecturer's perspective about different topics. In fact, the lecturers may sometimes drop hints and tips about where the exam questions may come from and how to answer these questions in an exam hall. Now imagine if you are the type of student that enjoys staying away from classes, you will end up missing out on the areas of concentrations and general exam tips that the course lecturer may drop during the classes. The fourth tip to pass anatomy is YouTube videos. YouTube videos, YouTube videos, YouTube videos. I'll be honest with all of you, watching online anatomy YouTube videos helped me way more than any of the physical lectures I had in my medical school. In fact, YouTube videos were instrumental in helping me pass my professional examination in anatomy. I was always on YouTube watching anatomy videos on areas I found difficult to understand. Some of the YouTube channels I frequently used were Sam Webster, Janet Science, Dr. Najib Lectures, Osmosis, Cape Plan, and many more. I would advise medical students who are still trying to find their way around anatomy to make use of YouTube as a study aid. Moving on, the next tip is about repetition and consistency. Repetition and consistency is important in studying every course and not just anatomy alone. You have to as much as possible try to be consistent in studying anatomy because of how large the course is. Remember that three courses in anatomy and the information contained in all three courses can be so voluminous and overwhelming sometimes. Thus, you need to study anatomy as many times as possible within the week so that you can catch up with the pace of the lecturer. While trying to study anatomy, please do not neglect other courses you are also offering for the semester or session. Moving on. Considering how voluminous anatomy is as a course, it is important to note at this point that it is impossible to know everything. Yes, you can't know everything in anatomy. Even your lecturers giving you lectures in anatomy do not know everything in anatomy. If you know this, then you'll be able to understand that you cannot study everything in anatomy all by yourself. You will need to form discussion groups from time to time with your colleagues to discuss the different areas in anatomy. 
that have been taught in class and may likely come out in exams. Discussion groups is very important because it will help you identify your weak areas and work on them. Discussion groups will also help you cover more topics and make your vision faster. Moving on, in addition to the many recommendations I've already given, I'd like to add a few more and that is using short summary notes or applications as well as past questions as a revision tool. By short summary notes, I mean resource materials that summarizes the high yield areas in every topic in bullet points. That is, materials that gives you a general overview of the entire topic in a few lines so that your revision can be fast and effective. There are many of such resource materials available online for use. An example of one of such applications is the Teach Me Anatomy application. This particular application helped me greatly in revising course anatomy during my final preparations for my professional examination in anatomy. If you enjoyed all the tips and strategies we have shared in this particular video, then please like, share and comment to tell us any specific topics you need help in. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please hit the subscribe button now.